Hi guys, since it is December, I'm so in the holiday spirit. I just wanted to do kind of a whole holiday themed video. So it's gonna be a little bit of like my holiday favorites, um, a little bit of a gift guide. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you my holiday decor in my apartment. So stay tuned to the end if you want a little tour of that stuff. And then for now, let's just dive straight in. Um, okay, first thing, this is my favorite holiday sweater. It's from Wild Fox. It's maybe a couple years old, so I honestly don't know if they still make it, but it's so cute. It says early mornings, rosy cheeks, frosty nights, hot cider, two to a blanket, mistletoe kisses. <laughs> I just think it's adorable. Um, this is like, you know, back when Wild Fox was the only one making sweaters with words on them. Now it's kind of overdone, but anyway, love this sweater. It's just really cute. I feel like it's cute to wear to a holiday party with a great pair of red heels. So I thought I'd share my favorite heels. Something about holiday party, I just feel like you need some like Dorothy worthy heels. Sorry, my dogs are like napping on the couch. So these are my bandolino and I like these because they're very comfortable as the other thing I would recommend if you're gonna be at holiday parties or sometimes like in the Christmas season, you can have like two parties a night and you're like going back to back. You need to have comfortable shoes. So these are nice because they give you a little height. Honestly, I'm six feet tall, so I don't do any higher heel than this. Um, but they're also like comfortable because they're this wedge style. So I love these. Any, honestly, any sparkly, shiny red shoe will do. And then I think it's cute with like a holiday sweater or a holiday dress. Okay, next is the perfect red lip. This is my favorite red lip. I love it. It's by It Cosmetics and it's called It Girl. It's from their Blurred Lines collection. And what I really think is so cute about this is it comes with the lip liner. Like, could it be any more user friendly? Like, that's so easy. You have the exact perfect color of lip liner. This is called Cherry Flush. And then you have my favorite shade of red. It's like a very true red. I'd say it's probably more on the, is it more on the bluish side? I just love it. I think it's so festive. So I picked this up at Ulta. I'll link it below. Um, and then my other holiday favorite, it's like a little bit late to be telling you guys about this. You probably already know. The L'Occitane Advent Calendar. Oh my gosh, so nice. Like I love the tradition of an Advent Calendar ever since I was a little kid. It's so fun to like hunt and find the right day and open up the little square. But that said, like there's something wrong with me. I don't like chocolate. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I probably need to consult my doctor. <laughs> but for some reason, I don't like chocolate. Like I would never sit and just eat straight chocolate. I don't even like chocolate flavored things. So suffice to say, most advent calendars are lost on me, but this one is not. This one I love. Ooh, just hit myself in the face and got lipstick on it. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, okay. This one is so cute. It's got a little trial sized product and every, I already took some of them out, but um, it's just such a fun little treat for a beauty lover to open each day. And then, you know, zero calories, <laughs> just really fun treat. So it's already several days into December, but you could just get it and open up the first week in advance or um, save it for next year, give it as a gift for next year. They have this version, which is like the, basic one and then they have like a deluxe one. So I would recommend this. I also saw there's such a thing as a whiskey advent calendar. I thought that'd be a cute gift for guys, but we all know guys are so hard to shop for. Actually, let me just jump right to my gift, gift suggestions for guys. So the first Christmas I ever spent with my husband, so romantic and cozy in our little, like we both had roommates. So we were like in our little bedroom, but um, had cider and we exchanged gifts and I got him a pocket knife, just like a simple Swiss army, like from Target pocket knife. And I was insecure about that gift because like I was still getting to know him. We met in October, so Christmas was kind of early on. I didn't know if it was a good choice. I didn't think it was like romantic. I had a lot of concerns. It was the best gift I've ever given him. He has carried it every single day of his life since then, and he's obsessed with it. And if he doesn't have it, he freaks out like Rain Man. And when we have to travel and he can't carry it, he's very upset <laughs> and he just loves it. Like he uses every part of it. It has tweezers, it has a toothpick, it has scissors and knife, it has a nail file. It's, I mean, who wants to file their nails with metal? That part's questionable. 
but he loves it and I venture to say most guys would. So this is a great gift. It's small enough, you can just keep it on your keychain. You know, it's very portable. Another option is this like multi-tool. This one's by the Sharper Image. My dad always had one of these every day of his life with him. It's like pliers and man stuff. <laughs> I think there's like screwdrivers and rulers and I don't know. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to do with this, but guys love these things. So keep that in mind. Then for the slightly more dapper gent, or if you just want to help your man step up his game a little bit, I highly recommend a tie clip. They're very much back in style, and I think it's such a cute look on a guy just to pin his tie. It's got that retro vibe. It's just a little touch of style. Guys don't get to play with like all the fun style stuff like we do. Um, the only other thing that guys get to play with is cufflinks. So I want to show you a couple sets I've gotten my husband that have been a huge hit. This one's a little Superman S, and this one's the Batman symbol. <laughs> but they're both silver, and they both look really dapper, just as like a little glint of silver. It's just enough to tell you, oh, he's wearing, he's wearing cufflinks. Like, oh, he's pretty classy. Couple that with the tie clip, and it's a, it's a winning look. And then when they look closer, it's fun. It's a superhero thing, so it suits his personality. They have like cufflinks for anything, anything in the world. So whatever your guy's into, maybe he's a bass fisherman. I think you could probably find like bass cufflinks. So that's just my little tip for guys because they can have fun with accessories just like we can. Okay, next I wanna talk about a couple hostess gift ideas or host gift ideas. I feel like hostess gifts are kind of a dying art and I don't know why, but I highly recommend if you're going to any holiday parties or even just for a family's house for dinner, so nice not to show up empty handed. So one thing that's a huge hit is I love to bring plants. They're kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. This is my aloe plant, Alfie. He's our model today. Um, something cute that you can do is put it in a mug. This is not well situated. I would pick a mug that fits better if I were really gifting this. But you see the idea, then they can reuse the mug. Hopefully the plant will live on forever. Aloe is such a great gift because it's also medicinal. You know, they can keep it in the kitchen if they burn themselves, Alfie will save the day. <laughs> so that's just like a sweet thing to show up with. Other thing that's nice is like herbs, um, fresh flowers. You can't go wrong with any of that stuff. Okay, another thing I got for hostess gifts this year, by the way, if I know you in real life and I'm coming over to your house this holiday season, sorry in advance that your gift just got ruined. But I got these adorable sweater sets. Um, it's always nice to bring a bottle of something if you're gonna be drinking or if the host drinks. So I like to kind of jazz it up and I feel like the traditional wine bag is kind of less exciting. But how cute are these? It's just like a little hat. Oh my gosh, I got this little set on Amazon. I have both of these sweaters and hats, and I just think they're adorable. This is a bottle of Tito's Vodka, highly recommend, and the price is right, but it's still like a classy gift because it's really good vodka. Um, and this little set just makes it more festive. And then you can also put it on a wine bottle, a liquor bottle, whatever you want. This is a bottle of Barefoot Pinot Noir. <laughs> I wouldn't personally bring this as a gift because it's literally like $5, but it's my favorite wine. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm cheap. I have cheap tastes. I just think it's the best wine. It's so yummy. So put it maybe on a slightly nicer bottle of wine, your call or not. I would be thrilled if somebody brought this to my house as a gift. I, I think it's delicious. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. Okay. Let's segue from that to a couple gift ideas for the wine lover in your life. This is one of my favorite kitchen appliances ever. It's a wine opener. You know what, let me plug it in and show you. Okay, so one thing that's just kind of a nice, nice touch about this is that it glows blue when it's charging. It looks cool on the kitchen counter and it gives it like kind of that tech gadget edge that makes it a fun gift, like maybe even for a guy. Like I said, guys are so hard to shop for. This is another one you could consider, but it's really cool. It just, screws in and out really easily. I love not battling with my wine corks. I just think it's like one less thing to stress about in life. Why not let a robot do it for you? So that's just kind of a fun little gift. I actually got this as a gift from my dear, dear neighbors and I love it. I've moved, we're not neighbors anymore. In fact, we're across the country, but we 
they still have a dear place in my heart every time I open a bottle of wine. So if you want someone to think of you favorably for years to come, when they're in their happiest moment about to have a relaxing drink, that's a good gift. And then on the same token, also really nice to give a, a pair of, wow, my ring light is crazy in these. <laughs> Um, to give a pair of beautiful glasses. These are from Anthropology. I just love the shape, the like exaggerated bulb shape. And then they have this little divot in the bottom. It's really cute. They're also gold rimmed. I like an idiot put them in the dishwasher. Don't do that. The gold rim came off, but you won't be doing that. You'll be giving it as a gift and you can warn them. So I'll put a link to these below. I just think they're so pretty and they feel really nice and like decadent to have a glass of wine out of. So I don't know if you can tell, they also have a pinkish hue, which just makes, pink makes everything better. So thought those were really cute. Let's go into gifts for the beauty enthusiasts, cause you know, I am such a girl. And you saw in my, one of my vlogs, I picked this up for myself. This is like my Christmas present to myself this year. And I am so excited. Slip is like the brand of silk pillowcase. It is just, Oh, so nice. I picked up this little gift set. It has a silk pillowcase and a silk eye mask. I don't know what it is about me, but I'm obsessed with eye masks. Like I collect them. Like it's, it's like a problem. <laughs> um, this is a really nice set. So this is a nicer gift. This is $109 guys. But if you have a beauty lover in your life who you really want to indulge what's a better gift than a beauty sleep you know so this will protect their hair their skin help them sleep more soundly having sleeping on a silk pillowcase has been well documented to be like the best for your skin and it doesn't break your hair it makes your blowout last much longer it's just the way to go and then a silk eye mask is obviously something that's gonna be like rubbing and tugging at your eyes all night you want to have the highest quality material possible it also just feels so dreamy cool to the touch, silky, just ugh, amazing. The other thing I was gonna recommend is just anything from Lush. I always go back to gifting Lush for my girlfriends and it's just always so appreciated. Lush has that homemade touch. Um, it's very conscientious skincare and it's fun, it's decadent. They have something for everyone. So I literally just grabbed the catalog and I will just, just suffice to say, anything in here would be a fantastic gift. But specifically, they have all these gift sets. They're like pre-wrapped. They have little themes. They have all different price ranges. They have all different things in them. This would be like a perfect, you didn't really have a chance to get something yet, but you still wanna show that you put some thought and care into it. Anything from Lush is perfect for that. I love all their products. Um, like this set is a rose jam. All their like rose jam flavored stuff. Oh, it's so good. It'll make their whole bathroom smell good. They'll think of you every time they take a bath and they're relaxed and they're like, oh, that was so sweet of her. Best gift. Love it. Okay, <laughs> moving on. So here's some gift ideas for someone that wants to have a more conscientious 2018. This would be my first recommendation. It's called Simple Abundance, A Day Book of Comfort and Joy. And this book is from the 90s. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, ancient. But I remember when I was a little girl, my mom had this book and it's got this distinctive cover. And I remember seeing her read this, like she would always wake up earlier than the rest of the house and she would like take her coffee, her cup of black coffee and go out on the porch and read this and like have some me time. And I was too young to get that. And like, I didn't realize what a cool and important routine that is. And it wasn't until years later, I was at my girlfriend's house and I saw this book on her counter and that pattern like triggered this like gut reaction. I was like, oh my gosh, my mom had that book. Like, what is that book? And it was my first chance as an adult to be like, yeah, wait, what is that? What was my mom doing? Like, there's probably something to that. And there's definitely something to it. Okay, so this is a daily devotional kind of book. Um, it's not religious. So it doesn't have to be limited by what religion the recipient is or if they're not, but it's just helps you be more thoughtful. helps you show more gratitude. It helps you think about where you want to go with your life and just dream bigger and just indulge in the little decadent moments that you can have every single day. Great gift could really help somebody have a very thoughtful, special, purposeful 2018 on the same vein, my dear, dear, dear friend, Jen, who I adore, 
Um, she got me these two books and I love them. It's the 52 Lists Project. I think this is probably the first one in the series. Let me flip to like a page I haven't done yet. Um, like for instance, list the things that make you excited. And it just, it's sort of like a journal prompt. If you love making lists, if you find it therapeutic, because there is something, there's something about it. It's like, it feels productive. It feels like it's getting out of your brain and onto paper and you can like move on with your life once you've made a list. Do you know what I mean? Like I can't have a, I, I can't function until I have a to-do list for the day. But these are more creative lists. Like this one is all about lists for happiness. So list the times when you felt like you made a difference in someone's life. Like what a nice prompt. And if you're the type of person that kind of struggles with journaling, you don't know what to say, you just stare at the blank page and you're like, ah, there's too many thoughts in my head. I can't get them from here to here. This is a great way to do it. It just kind of opens up your brain. You'd be surprised what will come out in these lists. It's a really fun, really sweet gift. Okay, moving on. On the same note of lists. So these are gifts, I guess you could say, for people who want to like get their shit together in 2018. <laughs> I describe myself as somebody who's constantly working on like getting her, her life together and more organized. Um, these are two things I'm loving. I think stationery is such a nice gift. Like something special about giving paper, you know? We don't, we live in such a digital world that we don't touch paper that much. We don't use pins that much. So I think it's really special whenever somebody gives me stationery, I always think it's really sweet and it just kind of, brings me back to a more elemental experience of like actually holding paper. So these are nice gifts on the, on the um, vein of stationery. And then they're also good for helping somebody to be more productive and get more organized. But this one is from Minted Sugar, which is a really cute little company. They do a lot of planner stuff. Up here it's to-do items and down here it's notes. It has this pretty palm print. Then this one is by Rifle Paper Company. It has the adorable detail of the ostrich. I just love it so much. So cute. Everything Rifle Paper Company makes is amazing. So pretty. Such a girly retro vibe. I just love their stuff. Okay, so this is also a gift for somebody who's trying to get their life together in 2018. This is an alarm clock. It's called, it's by Moshi. Mashi, Moshi, um, and I love this alarm clock. I'm not a morning person. I wish I was a morning person. I'm so jealous of those people who just pop up in the morning bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. That's not me. I would, left to my own devices, I would stay up until like midnight, 1 a.m., and I'd sleep until like nine or 10. So very difficult for me, but I've been working and getting up at 6.30. It's so rewarding. There's a reason like all the most productive people in society get up early, <laughs> so. For anybody else who's struggling with getting up early, or if you have somebody in your life that needs to start getting up early, oh, I just hit a button. Um, this alarm clock is really cool. First of all, it lights up. And my light is so bright, I don't know if you can tell how cool that is, but it gets really bright. So in the morning, this gradually bright, brightens up like half an hour before your alarm goes off until the point, it's not like you're gonna be blinded, but at the point when your alarm goes off, when you like open your eyes, usually it's like pitch black and it's so cozy and you wanna just crawl back up and turn off your alarm. This is like, whoa, there's light. For me, as soon as I see the light, I start to wake up. I think that's just a biological thing for all of us. You can wake up to the ocean sounds. <laughs> I don't, I don't like to wake up to shit like that. That's just stressful. Um, or, or you can wake up to the radio. There's a bunch, oh. <laughs> okay. There's a bunch of options. And so I just find this to be a great option for getting out of bed, making it slightly less painful. If you're somebody who wants to be more productive, that's a great way to start. All right, this is kind of a random one, but maybe the one I feel the most strongly about. This is the Amazon Echo Dot. Um, I received this as a gift. A lot of these things I got as a gift and that's how I know they're amazing, amazing gifts. I love this thing. Love it so, so much. If my aunt hadn't gotten it for me, I never would have known to want it. Like I didn't think I wanted one. I didn't really get it. I was like, well, I have Siri on my phone. Isn't that the same thing? 
No, that's not the same thing. So there's so much you can do with this thing. Um, you can tell it to play music. It's actually a decent little speaker. You can play games with it. My husband and I play Jeopardy every single day like while we have dinner. It's kind of our cute little tradition. It's really fun. You can play like word games, all sorts of stuff. It can read your audiobooks to you like while you clean the house. Okay, let me show you like my actual favorite thing to do with this. Alexa, add trash bags to shopping list. I added trash bags to your shopping list. You guys, this is maybe like my top life tip ever. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I'm at the store and I'm racking my brain like, what do I need? And it's so frustrating and I can't think of it and I get home and I don't have the trash bags I'm out of. So the reason that happens is if you don't write things down, the second you realize, oh, we're out of trash bags. Now, that's the first step, just writing it down. But let's say you're in the kitchen with your dish gloves on and you can't write down. You tell her, it works so well because I don't have to go the effort of like, I've yelled from the shower like, hey, add body wash to the shopping list. Like, it's amazing. I just love that feature. I use it all the time. Then when you get to the grocery store, there's an app on your phone that corresponds with this guy and you can just get whatever you need. So I just love this. It has so many, per so many different functions. Like, okay, watch this. Alexa, turn off Christmas tree. Okay. <laughs> like delay. Okay, there's not usually that much of a delay. Alexa, turn on Christmas tree. Suspense. There it is. Okay, so. Okay. Thank you. How did I get lipstick on this? I'm like all over the place with this lipstick today. But point is, this thing is awesome. I c can control the tree with it because I have a Wemo um, outlet plug that works with it. So I'll put a link for that. That'd be a cute gift combo with this, but this is surprisingly affordable. Like this is just the small one. It works great. Um, highly recommend. I think that'd be a really fun gift for anybody. This is okay. Some gift ideas for the fitness lover in your life or somebody who's got um, prioritizing their health is like a big goal for them in 2018. I say you can't do better than a cute water bottle. <laughs> like hydration is so key and so many people struggle with it. I find that it's like, if you don't have water constantly within reach, you're just not gonna be hydrated. I don't know why. So for me, I have two of these big pink water bottles. Can we talk about the fact they're the perfect shade of pink, like just perfection? Um, I have two of them, they're 40 ounces. So if you fill up two the night before, you drink 80 ounces of water the next day, guaranteed you're good to go. Um, it's just perfect. Then I also added this straw lid because I find if you have a straw, you're more likely to drink. So this would be a nice gift for somebody just to help them feel more motivated to stay hydrated and then maybe make some healthier choices. The other thing I want to share is my yoga mat. I love my yoga mat so much. I feel very strongly that this is the best yoga mat in the world. <laughs> this is by Lululemon. So of course it's good, like, you know, they know yoga. I don't wanna unroll the whole thing because that's, that's the whole thing. It's huge. This one's actually called the big mat because I'm six feet tall. I always had like my head or my feet hanging off my yoga mat and it was awful. So if you know a tall yoga enthusiast, get the big mat, but if they're not tall, just the regular mat, it's just called the mat. It's the best. It's this no slip material. It's actually made from the same stuff that like a, a tennis racket grip is made from. So it's very grippy. And if you've ever taken a yoga class and your hands start to sweat and you're like slipping and sliding around on your mat like Bambi, it's the worst. <laughs> this thing is so good. You lock into place, like you feel secure. It's so nice. And then the bottom side is really, really cushy. Let me see if you can see like the texture. It's very thick, but it's still, it's not so thick that you're like wobbly. It's very sturdy. Um, and then what I like about the fact the bottom is so cushy is during like knee poses where you're kneeling, you can flip it up and actually kneel on the softer side. So for someone who has knee issues like me, that is a lifesaver. Sorry, my camera just cut out. I don't know why. But anyway, I highly recommend this. This would be a really nice gift for somebody who's into yoga, who wants to get into yoga. This could motivate them to go to class more. <laughs> or, you know, you can use it for other fitness classes as well. Okay, this is almost almost through with the gift giving portion of this i just thought this was cute i wanted to show you what i'm getting my nail girl <laughs> 
my go to Helen. She's amazing. And I am a firm believer in like giving little gifts and tips to people like that, that you see often. Like if you have, if you get massages regularly from the same person, or if you get your nails done or your hair done, you know, it's kind of a tradition that's gone by the wayside, but giving those people an extra tip at Christmas is really sweet and a good gesture. And especially for somebody who you count on to keep your nails looking good year round, it's nice to do something for them. So I got this mug on Etsy. I just thought that was so cute. It has her name on it and it has this cute little nail polish details. And I just filled it up with my favorite teas and this cute little honey bear. It says happy holidays and a cute little honey comb that I put on there. And I just think that'd be sweet. This plus like a little extra tip to say thank you for a year of magical nails. <laughs> um, I don't know, I thought I could give you some inspiration for maybe doing something similar for whoever is in your life that deserves it at this time of year. Okay, and then my last and favorite gift recommendations are charities. I think that's the gift that, you know, some people already have everything. Some people honestly don't want or need anything. Some people are like at a point in their life where they're trying to have less stuff. And you might not know what to get for those people. The perfect, in my opinion, the perfect thing to do is to donate to a charity. It's, it's not just going to mean something to the person that you're gifting, but it's gonna mean something to other people you might never even meet or know how much you impacted. So I really recommend that. I think that's such a, such a special gift. I know I've been so honored and touched when people gave to charities in my name um, or in memory of my parents. Like you can do it in memory of someone that you lost. It's just such a sweet gesture. So one charity I really like is Heifer International. I think it's such a cool thing that you can do. Basically, you can buy an animal for a family um, in like a third world country who needs that animal. Hold on. I'm trying to find a good one. Like in the past we've given bees. So a family can get honey out of their beehive or you can give them chickens and they'll have eggs for years. You can give them a goat and they can have goat's milk. Um, it's just a really cool way to help out a family that you'll never get to meet, but it's like a very tangible thing that you're doing for them. The other charity, and this is a charity that's nearest and absolutely dearest to my heart, is called Be The Match. And it's the Bone Marrow Registry, which is such a cool, cool charity. Um, I don't have any other like marketing materials, so I'm kind of just showing you how you actually sign up. Let me tell you just a little bit about it. Being um, a bone marrow donor is something you can do same as giving blood. It's a little bit more invasive. They put a needle in your hip. You're a little bit sore afterward, but it's like an outpatient thing. Your body promotes, grows new bone marrow just the way it grows new blood after you donate. It's like something you can give and almost not even notice, you know, you won't even notice it's missing. It grows right back, just like donating blood. Yet, it's a huge, huge lifesaver. I mean, a bone marrow transplant can save somebody with leukemia, with bone marrow disorders, with blood cancers, um, with blood disorders. It's just really powerful. I I really wanna go really in depth on this, but I won't, I'll save it for another video. Um, but it's just a really cool charity and there's not enough people on the bone marrow registry. I feel like there's not that much um, awareness of what it even is. So one thing that you can do is A, just donate to them in honor of someone. Maybe you know somebody who's been touched by leukemia or by any kind of bone marrow disorder and this, you know, a bone marrow transplant could one day save their life. So that, in that case, of course, it's really powerful, but also you could, instead of just giving money, you could sign up to be on the registry. I know a few of my friends have signed up to be on the registry um, in my honor and it's like oh, such a powerful gift. Oh my gosh. I myself have been on the registry for 13 years maybe. I've never been called to donate. It's not the kind of thing where it's necessarily ever even going to happen, but if it does happen, you know, you can you can save somebody's life. It's absolutely incredible. So here's how you sign up. I, if you can't tell, I volunteer for this charity and I'm so passionate about it. And one of the things I do to volunteer is I assemble these little kits. And so these are the kits you get when you sign up. It comes with two cotton swabs. I'll throw this one away, obviously, because I'm like showing you. But you just take the cotton swab, you put it inside your mouth and you like swab your cheek on both sides, put it back in this little doohickey 
and they send it off to the lab. They find out exactly what type of bone marrow you have. There's a lot of different factors in bone marrow. So to get a bone marrow transplant, you have to have like a perfect match. That's why it's so important we have as many people as possible signed up. And that's why it'd be really powerful if you signed up as a gift to someone. So that's my suggestion as far as charities. This is called Be The Mat. So now I'm just gonna go into like a quick tour of all my holiday decorating. Come with me and we'll go check that out. So the only decor in our hallway is this beautiful wreath. This is from Target last year. We covered my apartment number because this internet's a scary place. <laughs> but it's a really pretty wreath with poinsettias and I feel like it makes a very Christmassy entrance. Over here, you guys know I love to have a candle on the stove. It's so cozy. This is the scent Holiday by Nest. It smells amazing. Like It smells like just like the epitome of a holiday. <laughs> Um, and then over here, this is just like an ugly little Santa. I think I got it at Target maybe a few years ago. This is a really sweet pot holder that my mom stitched. She was so crafty. I love having little things like this. It's just so cozy to have around the house in the holidays. I remember her. I put this out because I had to tell you guys to try this scent. I always use this brand of counter spray and this scent, Iowa Pine. I don't know if it's just for the holidays or what, but it smells so good. <laughs> it's amazing, it smells so holiday perfect. Um, what else is in here? Over here I have our advent calendars, mine from La Cetain, and my hubby's from Godiva. I've got a Christmassy bouquet on the counter right now. My husband got me these gorgeous little red roses, so he said, Maybe you might want to add something to them because they were kind of sparse on their own. And so I added little Christmassy touches. I think they turned out so pretty. We used to always have a tree of just like sentimental ornaments and it was very hodgepodge. And I think that's so cozy and sweet. I would, I'm not knocking that at all. I love it. But I also, on some level, I wanted to have like a Better Homes and Gardens Christmas tree at one point in my life but I would never give up our sentimental ornaments. So this is what we did. We made this little tiny tree with just like our sweet, meaningful ornaments on it. And this is, I don't know, it's kind of like a little Charlie Brown tree. My dog is sneezing. Bless you, Lolita, bless you. Okay, sorry, sneezing fit has been subdued. Um, so anyway, this is like, quote, our ugly tree, but just so cozy and homey and I love it so much. You guys know I was obsessed with my jack-o'-lantern this year. I think this bow might be a bit much. I was trying to Christmas it up, but I made it out of a funkin, which is a like fake pumpkin, by the way, please note my manicure <laughs> matches my pumpkin. Um, so it won't go bad because it's made out of a fake pumpkin. So I will definitely be saving this every year. I'm obsessed with it. And I thought I could keep it out for Christmas if I Christmas it up a little, but this bow is too big, I think. So I'm gonna get a different bow. But in the meantime, that's my little Cinderella pumpkin Christmas thing. Oh, I forgot to light it up. It has um, like battery operated tea lights in it. Our little tablescape, everyday tablescape. This tree I think is so cute. I love it. Actually, Nate pointed out I kind of based our real tree on it. <laughs> I didn't even notice I did that. That was very subconscious. But last year I got this at Michael's. I just think it's so darling with the pink ornaments. Oh, I love it. So that lives here. This little side table has some extra flowers from that other bouquet. I have another candle. I am so obsessed with this one. What is it called? Okay, the company is Times and it is called Fraser Fur, and it is the best Christmas scent ever, ever, ever. I love it so much. These are part of our Christmas decor, these cute little doggies. Yeah, are you a cute little doggie? They're laying on our Christmassy pillows. She's on the cutest one, it says Twinkle. Then as a little coffee table centerpiece, I got this at Bath and Body Works. This is their candle in the scent Fresh Balsam. I have a fake tree, obviously, so I love things that smell like real trees. <laughs> that smells really, really good. Then we don't have a mantle. As you guys know, we live in a little studio apartment. So this is how we improvise. We hang our stockings on our sound bar with care. I have these cute little pink Christmas trees. I love them. They're from Michaels. They match my purse. <laughs> and on this side, I'm obsessed with my sweet little pink Santa and my cute little 
like rose gold reindeer. Both of these are from Michaels. Michaels was killing it with the pink Christmas decor. I love it. And here is our tree. So like I said, I really want to do like a themed tree this year. Obviously I chose pink. My husband is the sweetest hubby in the world because he let me get away with that. <laughs> but up here is this little angel tree topper I've had all my life. Again, my mom made it. Isn't it so, so cute? And I thought she just matched perfectly with the vibe of my like curly tree. <laughs> But what I did was I got just a big pack of like mixed ornaments that were like pink, gold, rose gold, some cream colored ones. I just got several packs of those to kind of create the base of the tree. Um, I got them at Michael's and at Target. Then I picked up like little cute pink ornaments that would match. This is from Target. I'm so in love with it. It's so cute. Such a sweet little deer ornament. I actually got two. See, here's another one. Oh, they're so cute. Um, had these white little icicle ornaments. I really like these. These are kind of art deco looking. These are all, you know, just plastic Target ornaments. I got some pink candy canes. Where I'm from, you have to have candy canes on your Christmas tree. <laughs> and some of these ornaments are our special ornaments like this one is something my hubby got me it's so adorable and it just kind of matched the vibe of the tree okay guys that is everything i hope that was helpful i hope you get some ideas for gifts and decorating and just soaking up this amazing magical time of the year because it truly is my favorite i love it so much and i just want to share that with you guys so enjoy thank you for tuning in if you're new here please hit subscribe um we talk about a lot of stuff all in this vein <laughs> so if you're interested stick around hit me up on instagram comment like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll talk to you guys soon and i'll see you in the next video bye